Hello everybody, Elsa Farmer here and welcome back to my channel and to this video about small tractors. These are my personal top 5 small tractors for Farming Simulator 19. Uh, all of them are actually mods, uh, but anyhow, they are available on console, PS4, Xbox. And yeah, I think these are great. I use them more or less on all my maps, not all of them at the same time, but and all of them has some cool features to them. Uh, they are cheap, they are really versatile. So I think we're just gonna start with this one. Oh, sorry, this is the case international. 1455 XL81. I assume this is from 1981. As you can see, you can have jewels both back and forth, front PTO, front loader. So let's go jump in and look at it in the shop. The small tractors. <coughs> let's see, there we go. It's 42,000 to buy. It has 125 horsepower, but you can change that. You can change the rim color to ever what you like. You have different uh, red colors restored and used. You can see a slightly different in the color, but anywho. In wheel options, in trailer box, you have standard. Uh, standard FY, I think that is just the threads that is opposite. You have standards and duels on the back, duels all the way, narrow TM800, TM800 FY. Yeah, you have a lot of these ones, is the one I have. And on the mitres, I'm not going to explain all the names on it, but you can see the different uh, wheels. And then back to Trellborg. On the front, you can either have weight or front PTO and three-point link. Exhaust system, that's the exhaust pipe itself. You can change that to whatever you want. Uh, beacons, either two or one on the left side. Engine setup, we have 125 horsepower and 145 horsepower. Air filter, that's the one on the front hood there, so to speak. You can change that to standard a low one and a high one. I have this one. And then you have front loader, you have the stall which is the standard one and you have something called Allo console. I haven't used that one, I haven't tried it. I don't know if this is gonna connect to the FZ front loaders. Maybe we should try that. Let's just lease that one and we can test that out later. Let's jump in. Turn off the music. Nice horn. Now on this one, let's put on the help window. You can open up the different windows and the top top floor, so to speak. <laughs> the uh, roof uh, top I don't know what it's called in English, but anyway, L1 and R1, left stick to the side. And then L1 and R1 and right stick to the side, opens up the door. Right stick up and down, opens up the back window.
top speed of 41 kilometers an hour. A really nice and cheap small tractor. So that's the case international. 1255 and 1455. Anywho, moving on. Next one, we have this one the Björer 6 Series Edition with the chrome wheels. <laughs> this also is really nice, versatile front PTO, front loader. Decent engine on it. Let's jump in and see the different configurations you can do with it. Also, on the small tractors, there we go the Bureau Series 6 edition, 48,000 to buy. Now, I have to apologize, I have bought all of these, so I don't know exact the slot count, but I don't think it's too high main color that's the exhaust pipe so it's one of those menus uh, come on there we go so now it's black and we can change it to chrome for instance and you can see the exhaust is changing rim color here you have a lot of different options I usually go with chrome which is here but that's all up to you. Uh, oh, come on. These menus. Beacon lights. You can have either one or two. Wheel setup. Standard, narrow, and wides. That's the only one you have. Engine setup. 115 horsepower. 135 horsepower. Or 165 horsepower. So that's going to add another 8,000 to your account, so to speak. Fenders, front fenders without any fenders. And you can add a front loader. Front loader. So there we go. So if you want to buy it without anything, you get 115 horsepower tractor for 48,000. This one also sounds really nice. Let's get this one on. On this one, L1 and R1, right stick to the side, opens up the back window. Right stick up and down opens up your door. And I think the, the seat in this one looks really comfortable. He's sitting a little bit low and relaxed. Top speed on this one is 42. That horn sounds way much better than most of the semi trucks we have. So there we go, that's the Bureau Series 6 edition. Next one is the Fent Favorite 515C Tuning. This one um, I actually got help of Mr. Sealy P himself. I watched his uh, Six Ashes series and he started with this tractor. I also had this, I thought, but this one has 195 horsepower. So I just commented on one of his videos and I asked him where can I find this Fent favorite. And he gave me a link on where to find it, who the mother was. I found it and I've used it ever since. 
and this one also you get everything front loader front pto and three point you can have it with jewels on the back and as i said all the way up to 195 horsepower and this one is like Mr. CLP is saying, this is bonkers cheap if you do the right thing. And trust me, you have to pay attention to this one. So let's go ahead in here. You see, in-game one is the Fent 500. This one is the one I used before, which is, I thought, pretty cheap. But the biggest engine here is 150 horsepower. And then the price is 93,000. Oops. Uh, but if we go in here, this is the one. Fent 500 favorite. You could have it with or without a gear shift sound. The price is the same. The configuration is the same. I usually go with the one with gear shift sound just to have something extra. Here also, you can. Oh, come on one of those menus ah, okay let's go to the main <laughs> main color you can choose it between all of these on this color pa palette rim color there we go you can have different colors also here whatever you want to use I don't like the orange one but anywho let's stick yeah Let's go out again. That's the most important one. Ooh, I almost forgot myself. Stay focused. Uh, the price, yeah. 77,000. If you go to the main color and go one to the right, old metal, now watch the price. The price goes down with 40,000. And now you can have this for 37,000. So that's the big change on this tractor and the hidden gold pot, so to speak. Here you have Mitas with those wheels, Trellebogs. I think this one is the one I have. So you have many different wheel options. I think there are Michelins also. And knock in with communals. Uh, design you can have it without Yara sensor, with Yara sensor, uh, with GPS, or both of them. I don't think on console GPS doesn't do anything. The Yara sensor, I'm a little bit uncertain what it does, but anyhow. Design you can have with or without front fenders attachers in the front with or without front PTO now we go over to the engine setup you can see now we have uh, oh let's see 115 125 40 and 195 and then we move over to another exhaust pipe there we go you can see the exhaust is changing and then we have the same engine options there, up to 195 horsepower. Front loader, stall console, that's the normal one. And then you have also here something called Hauer console and Alo console. So I don't know if these ones will hook on to the normal front loaders. I know this one will, the stall one. So there we go. Let's jump into this one, and you can see this one is a more standard one with knock-in communal tires. This one also. L1 and R1, right stick to the side, opens up the front window, and if you take R stick up and down, opens up the back window. R1 and R... R stick opens up the door 
Like so, it's a little bit difficult on this uh, console PS4 controller. But anyway, there we go. And now, let's listen to the gear shift sound. Top speed on this one is 53. Goes like a rocket. And you can hear those sounds. This is the biggest front loader, F60, with the big bag lifter on the front. So there we go, that's the Fent Favorite 515C. Now if you want to search for it, just search for the, you see on the bottom, Fent Exhaust, Fent Exhaust 1515C tuning. Uh, maybe I'll find and put down who the mother is on this one because this is one of my favorite tractors. Moving on, we have this little fellow here, the Massey Ferguson 135. <laughs> this is really cool. I have the exact model of this one, 132 scale metallic. This is really small, but it's 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 really nice, and it also comes with its own front loader. There are actually two of these ones, and uh, this is just an uh, in-game bucket which I brought with me. Now you can have it either like this with different wheel options, or you can have it with a cab, like so. And it has some animation on the door when you jump in. There we go. There's no option of uh, front PTO three-point link here. You can have a weight, but if you put the weight on it, you don't get the option of putting the front loader attacher. So just be aware of that. <laughs> Now let's jump in the shop and find it. It's not there we go. It's only ten thousand to buy. Forty five horsepower, thirty five kilometers an hour. You can change the rim color like so. The sign color that's the oh what was that again? I think that was, let's see, let's keep that in black, yeah, optional, that's on the front, you can have it with front guard, front weight frame, or with weight, or without, but if you take it, now you can see down here you have the option of front load attacher, yes or no. But if you take weight on it, that option disappears. So just bear in mind that. Oh, it's one of those menus. I can't believe giants can do something with that. But anyway, and then we go to version shell type fenders. Then we move to flat top fenders or with a cab. Headlights, standard, side, or standard. Yeah, that's only the two options. Wheel setup, standard, wheel weights, wide tires, rear twin wheels, and narrow tires, and back to standard. Engine setup. Now, this one is a little bit tricky. Or uh, This one, 135, is 45 horsepower. If you go to the multi-power, you only still are getting 45 horsepower, 
but I always choose this one. I don't know why, but maybe there are some hidden horsepowers in the engine. And with a front load attacher or not. There we go. So that's the options. Let's jump in. Yeah, and that's another thing. When you choose the front loader attacher, you see the headlights will move a little bit back. You don't have them in the front anymore. Now I've used this on uh, my Let's Play on Bucks County and I've moved hay bales and straw bales with it. Just put the weight on the back. No problems at all. And the, whoa! Crash counter one. That's <laughs> one of the things I wanted to show you. Uh, it doesn't seem that special now, but this front loader here. When I had the spikes with it, the good thing about it is that the tilt function is really high. So when I picked up straw bales and hay bales, I could, you know, literally put them all the way straight up and down. So the cylinder on this front loader is really long. But there you can see the size on it compared to the class Serion 5000. <laughs> it's small. <laughs> and the John Deere 9RX. So there we go. That's number four of my top five small tractors. The Massey Ferguson 135. Lastly, on the small tractors of my top 5 is the Valtra N-Series modded one. Mod, modded one, so to speak. You can see uh, you can have some metallic color on it. This one I've gone with the really wide, extra wide tires. Front PTO, 3 point link, front loader. This is the most uh, expensive one of the five one I have you can even have it with the steering wheel on the back so the whole section so to speak can turn around 180 degrees and you can also have it with tracks small tractor with tracks And this one is, I think, is the fastest one of the small tractors. Let's jump in the menu and find it. You have, you see, you have the in-game N-series. This one, this is a more plain, so to speak. I think the you have more. You don't have all the options as you have on the modded one. This one is a little bit cheaper. Ooh. Main color, you can have it in all the same color, but also here you have metallic colors. If that's your thing, or you can have it as standard color. I like the blue metallic. Rim color also here, more or less the same standard colors. Wheel options. There we go. <laughs> On the trailer you have standard and reversed wheel weights, wide tires, extra wide tires. More like flotation tires. That's a chunky one. This one also I like. 
with the double twin on the back. Nokians, Michelin, and here the lizard one with the crawler track. Design you could have it with twin track or not. That puts that steering wheel on the back. I'm going to show you how that works. Beacon lights, no left side, right side, or both. This actually is the unfold button on the the menu when you get out there on the field. Engine setup, 145 horsepower, 65 and 201. But then it goes into a faster version. This is 50 kilometers an hour. Then we move over to the same option with 57 kilometers an hour. So you can have this with 201 horsepower, 57 kilometers an hour for 138,000 with these, and maybe these, yeah, these are 15,000 these wheels. But anyway, all up to you. Just watch the. Some of these options are a little bit expensive. Also here. You can have it with or without GPS, doesn't matter, on console. Warning signs on the back. Front loader attacher, yes, or allo console. I think this one is the one with the back, yeah. You can actually have a front loader on the back here. I haven't tried that one. It seems a little bit odd, but anyway. You have the option of it. Also here, you have a lot of options of opening and closing doors. And to, uh, you can actually unfold this one, so L1 and X. Unfold the tractor by lifting the beacons. L1, R1, left stick. Oh, that's this one. This is pretty cool. Uh, it's with a rooftop ceiling or uh, opening. Uh, L1, L1 and R1 left stick up and down like so. And then if you press only R1 and right stick up and down, you open up the hood itself, not the hood, the roof. And then you have the normal doors, L1 and R1, left stick, no, right stick, I mean. <laughs> this door and right stick up and down is the back window. You can see this is stated to 58 kilometers an hour. And even in top speed, it handles pretty good. Especially with these flotation tires. And now let's test the second driver position. So if you press L1 and R1 and X, this will happen. Now you're driving this way. So let's jump in and try it again. L1, R1, X. So when you are in this position and driving forward, you're actually going backwards and you're steering the normal way, so to speak, and it's actually going 22 kilometers backwards. You know, I can imagine if you have the front loader attacher on the back for some reason and backing into pallets and so on, that could be helpful. Let's just try this one also.
So, I think that was, let's see, bam, 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 this one, this one, yeah. I think what that was it. These are my top five small tractors for Farming Simulator 19. They are all mods, but now you know the name on them, and hopefully you will find them in the mod hub. They are all available in the Farming Simulator 19 mod hub. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber, subscribe to my channel and put on that notification belt and all those things. And hopefully I will see you next time. Bye bye.